This episode starts the countdown towards the end of actually opening season-ending chests. Please join me. If you're interested, I will be opening gold level and silver level season-ending chests for my accounts in this episode. If this interests you, please stand by. Hey all you Splinterheads, welcome back. Bronze Dragon here saying thanks for dropping by. I appreciate your time. Well, in this episode, we're going to in, uh, open some season-ending chests, and uh, it's a countdown, I guess. As it were, the big uh, update to the game went live today, and now we're just in a countdown towards the end of actually opening uh, daily and season chests. Okay, so we have 64 gold chests uh, to open today. And more than likely, next season, my chests will be diamond, but I will probably have about half as much. That's, that's what I forecast to be one of the big changes to come out of this to my play. Um, I do see that we have the potions at the bottom here, which they may have been there. I may have just not noticed them. But right off the, the bat, it says 26 charges used. So I can tell that 26 out of the 64 uh chests are actually cards so let's see what i got let's cross my fingers okay one splinter charm one sps five dumaki orcs 2.4 sps 22 sps way above average 1.1 sps four legendary potions one gobson bomber five more gobson bombers seven coastal sentries three more dumaki orcs uh 0.9 sps Four Wily Kyoshans, 0.7 SPS, four Drybone Barbarians, seven more Coastal Sentries, 0.9 SPS, four Ravenhood Wardens. I really like that card. Uh, a Will O Wisp, just one. Uh, eight Legendary Potion Charges, seven Ferox Defenders, 10 Legendary Potion Charges, 0.9 SPS, four Alchemy Potions, one Idiri Fire. 4 Imperial Knights, 13 SPS, above average as well, 0.8 SPS, 2 Fire Callers, 10 Alchemy Potions, 7 more Coastal Sentries, a lot of Coastal Sentries, 7 more Coastal Sentries, what's up with that? A ton of Coastal Sentries, 3 Fungus Flingers, 132 SPS, way above average, 11 Legendary Potions, Two Evelyn Avera, six Imperial Knight, 0.4 SPS, 11 Alchemy Potions, 0.7 SPS, 0.7 SPS, 23.5 SPS, eight Alchemy Potions, one Noah the Just, 22.9 SPS, nice, 144 SPS. This is the day of the SPS, that's for sure. Three Possessed Puppets. Four Fungus Flingers, eight Legendary Potions, six Legendary Potions, 0.8 SPS, 96 Merits, four Imperial Knights, six more Coastal Sentries, ton of Coastal Sentries this time around, 64 Merits, eight Alchemy Potions, seven Legendary Potions, 0.7 SPS, five more Coastal Sentries, 0.5 SPS, and last row here, a Ferox Defender, 0.6 SPS, 0.9 SPS, 0.7 SPS, and a legendary, uh, legendary Potion. So I will say this is way above average for a draw. I will say the high points are definitely the amount of SPS. Uh, no Legendaries, but uh, 3, 4, 5, 5 Epics. So a bunch of SPS and five epics. So I will take it uh, sufficiently above average by my rating. Okay. So let's go ahead and uh, one other thing while I'm here, I do have some packs to open. Let's go ahead and open some Gladius cases. Uh, let's just open all six. I have six. Let's just see what I get. I keep forgetting to open them on videos, so I'll just open them right now. Okay, let's just open all. Oh, there's a, there's one epic. One epic. 
several rares, but one epic. Oh, a gold foil. A gold foil rare at that. So, you know, out of all these, um, I do play Relinor Cleaver quite a lot. I like Edith whenever I can fit her in, when there's enough mana, right? I like those two. Um, I like Crash Wonderford. He's helpful in certain situations. I really like him um, in Splinter Forge. He helps out. Um, I like Bet Bertrall Gobson and his... Um, the green one uh, It's also a Gobson. I forget. She's a rogue. Um, I like... Uh, here's a standard Relinor Cleaver. Um, yeah. And I use Isgald quite a lot, too, for a common. I find he's pretty good for a common. Okay. So let's close him. And let's go to my other account. This other account, my secondary account, draws off silver chests. So let's see. Yes, I did play my brawls. Let's do the claim. See what I got. Because I'm not quite sure. I just got home from work, so... 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, uh, 39. So we've got 39 silver chests. Let's check them out. Legendary potion, two alchemy potions, 1.5 SPS. And that's actually above average for a silver chest. Three Imperial Knights, uh, one Loblo Land, one Eternan Brune, uh, two Summoners. Nice. I need that on this account. 0.3 SPS, three Fire Callers, 0.4 SPS, one Terracious Grunt. 3.4 SPS, 0.4 SPS, one Demaki Orc, one Swamp Spitter, one, uh, 0.1 SPS, two Fungus Flingers, 10 Merits, one Octo Octavia Shadow Melt. Wow, that's three Summoners in one set of chests. I don't think I've ever done that before. Two Splinter Shards, which is above average for Silver Chests, 0.4 SPS, 1.9 SPS, two Alchemy Potions, 10 Merits, 0.3 SPS, Two Legendary Potions, 14 Merits, three Drybone Barbarians, 0.4 SPS, 0.4 SPS, one Madcap Magus, uh, one more Fungus Flinger, two more Swamp Spitters. I really am fond of Swamp Spitter. Fits in in a lot of situations there. 0.8 SPS, uh, three Terracious Grunt, uh, three Drybone Barbarian, 0.1 SPS, 0.3 SPS, and finishing off with 0.1 SPS. Okay, so coming over here to Peak Monsters, I had to take a look at my primary account draw. I think the secondary account draw was pretty decent, probably average, but my primary account draw was above average, definitely. I wanted to take a look at it, and it turns out that it was like 374 SPS, which is way above average. And then we had um, one, two, three, four, five epics. So all in all, with everything else considered, um, pretty nice, uh, like $10 worth of SPS. Uh, so uh, with that said, this has been Bronze Dragon. Um, hope everyone uh, gets a good draw as I did. Uh, obviously, we all know this is uh, just random, right? So you go for quite a long time and just getting kind of average stuff. And then once in a while, it hits you. And I think that's what a lot of us uh, like about the chests. Um, there are pluses and minuses, you know, um, but I think a lot of us that play the game and like to open packs and everything like the randomality, it's, it's like a gambling type thing, but, um, uh, you know, I'm hopeful for the new system and I, I'm, I'm hoping for the best, but, uh, you know, a certain part of me will miss opening chests, you know? So, uh, with that said, uh, this is Bryn Bond's Dragon and I hope everyone on your side is happy and healthy. How did you do this time around? Uh, let me know in the comments and tell me uh, what was the high point or the low point of your draw um, as we count down towards not opening chests anymore. I'll see you on the flip side.